With the latest from News for Jags, I'm Joy Purdy. Right now, repair crews are working on fire damage to the Edgewood Avenue Bridge after a crane caught fire, sending flames shooting 40 feet high. JFRD was able to put the fire out quickly, but there are concerns the flames damaged the bridge. The crane was being used to move train cars underneath the Edgewood Avenue overpass at the Norfolk Southern Rail Yard. The structure will stay closed until they can fully inspect it. It did cause road closures in the area, but those have since reopened. All lanes of I-95 in Emerson are also back open after being shut down for hours today. A crash involving a motorcycle snarled traffic and forced all northbound lanes closed. According to the Florida Highway Patrol, one person was killed in this crash. Jacksonville Fire Rescue says two people were rushed to the hospital. And in St. John's County tonight, the school district will host a town hall about potential attendance zone changes for the northwestern part of the county. The change is needed to deal with overcrowding issues in a district that grew more than 7% just this year. The school board will continue to discuss those changes next month and is looking to approve a plan May 31st. You can always find the latest news on newsforjax.com. Have a great afternoon.